This is Twit. So if you own a car that's from 1995 or newer, and under the dash somewhere is a port called the ODB2 port, which is a onboard diagnostic 2 uh, port and standardized among manufacturers in so far that at least basic um, engine management data is available there, enough to get all your emission control stuff uh, checked by, say, uh, uh, the smog people in your state, for us, that's uh, the cardboard here. Um, but this app, Torque, is, uh, if you can bring up the camera. So Torque is an app that interfaces via Bluetooth or USB with a, an ODB2 um, scanner, uh, like a, a, a device that plugs into the port and uh, lets you actually look at that stuff on your phone and track it on your phone and log in on your phone. Um, of course, I don't have a car connected right now. As you can see, it's, it's saying it's trying to connect to, um, to things, but it will show you things like you can scan for codes, which basically means that before you go for smog check, you can run this thing and it'll tell you if any of your sensors need replacing, if you have any issues on your car that would make you fail passing smog and you would know for sure without mm -hmm. spending money on nothing. Of course, nothing's going to happen if I tap search here. Um, then you can also have real-time controls where you can see a bunch of dials and gauges. So if you have an old Android tablet or something, you can have it set up on your dashboard like this, right? And you know those gauges that are missing in your car that you want? Things like vacuum, turbo boost if you yeah. have a turbo car, RPM if you don't have it. Like I have a really old, uh, one of my old cars doesn't have an RPM meter. Um, you can set them up here. And you can like, it's all customizable. You can create more, you can have different sizes, dials that are like vertical, horizontal, you know, whatever. This is all kinds of, I'll show you really quick. I think uh, if I um, if I hold down one of these, uh, I think, see you get all these layout options. Um, and then um, of course it keeps going. You can uh, look at a map view. It'll track your car over a certain distance, so you can see how much fuel you've used, for example, because they'll look at how much fuel your injectors are firing into the cylinders. Uh, test results will show you graphs of, of your test results. Of course, I don't have a connection right now to a device, and uh, you can graph stuff, um, and you can export to Excel if you really want to be that eager. Uh, you can check on adapter status. There's also a whole bunch of plugins. So, like, if you have a specific car that has specific features that are accessible through ODB2, uh, you can download plugins that support that and give you that extra information. It's it's very cool. And there's a free version which gives you minimum basic functionality, and then there's a pay version for 4.99. I honestly recommend if you're a car person and you you tinker with your own cars, just spend the 4.99. It's totally worth it. Um, you'll also need an adapter, and I don't know if Victor has a those two URLs I brought up uh, ready to go, but um, Torx website has a list of the adapters you you can you need to get, and there's a, they're as cheap as like 15, 20 bucks on Amazon. Man, even cheaper. And, Bleak um, has one in the chat for four fifty. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and so the, there is a um, like uh, if you bring up the other page, uh, there is basically a standard uh, ODB two chipset that this what supports. Is the other one? Uh, and I, um, I don't know if you put it in there, but I think it's like e ELM 368 or whatever. I can't remember the chipset. Somebody in the chat room can jump in. But basically, uh, 327, thank you. ELM 327, any any adapter that has the ELM 327 chip in it, which is pretty much all the ones on eBay that are made in China for 10 to 20 bucks will work with Torque. So in terms of hardware investment, it's really, really cheap. And then the software is five bucks or free, depending on how much functionality you want. Um, honestly, it's really great if you have an older car that's not super old, where you do a lot of your own work and you need to be able to talk to the computer and see what the computer tells you, other than just show up a little orange check engine light. Right. Because you never know <laughs> what, what that, that means. Mean. <laughs> so with this, you can actually figure it out. But also, yeah. you know, you can have extra dials and gauges while you're driving. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what, what's cool is that so many of, I mean, pretty much all modern vehicles and by modern we're not Anything even talking from that 90, mar yeah, modern yeah 95 and up is is the standard some cars has this some information cars is before 95 to be also work because they were starting to implement it a little earlier mm -hmm. um and sometimes you'll need a different physical adapter there's some like depending on the manufacturer like i have an old volkswagen camper van that is pre-95 but it does support odb mm -hmm. it just you need to uh, buy a little pigtail adapter because the connector wasn't standardized yet right but the protocol works uh, and I can see base, not very basic things like RPM and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so it's pretty cool if you're tinkering with your car, if you want to diagnose problems with your car and not shoot in the dark. Um, they also sell like dedicated 
standalone, no need an app, ODB2 devices, like if you go to Pep Boys or whatever, mm -hmm. like for nine bucks, you get the cheap ones that just show you the code number, but mm -hmm. they don't really, this gets into great detail about like, you know, looking at the stuff. Uh, well, and not only app, that, uh, allows you to kind of do things with that Exactly, data, the app is way better. Like if you try to keep, even keep track of your fuel consumption yeah. for, because you maybe you're, you want to charge your your boss, you know, like you're, you're a freelance contractor or whatever, and you want to be able to charge your boss for the fuel you use, this app will let you track that. It's yeah. not just diagnostics. It's really cool. Yeah, very cool so stuff. check and, it out. Uh, you, 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 uh, proposed this earlier via email. And at first I was like, man, I swear this has been in the arena. Yeah, I thought it, it hasn't, but I mean, this app has been around a long time. I know, and like I could it's, have sworn it's one of those when, I, classics. when I saw it wasn't there, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> yeah. this, is like a, this is like a must have app if you're an automotive enthusiast. Yeah. And here's the kicker, even EV, or even works with EVs because EVs also put uh, ODB2 port. Uh, they don't obviously have any data about smog and emissions, but uh, they might if they're a hybrid. Mm -hmm. uh, but they are generally, uh, there's some data available there that can be like speed, um, you know, battery level, all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, yeah. Um, this all like lets you measure things like the the normal battery in your car, you know, the one that all cars have, like how healthy is it? You can kind of have a quick look because all that stuff is output through ODB. Yep. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's called Torque. There's a free version and also a 4.95 version uh, to get the- Five uh, bucks, uh, like pizza. Yeah. Exactly. Pizza, Not pizza. Gosh, like a slice of pizza.